this one. Welcome back. Uh, these are my reflective thoughts of, of tonight. And, you know, today was really good. It was important to me. Uh, I want to thank Sadie for joining me. It was really, really wonderful to have your energy in the studio. Um, Hassan, as always, thank you. Um, this was a very painful week uh, for me. This has been a very painful couple of weeks for me. Um, being a black woman from from Panama, black woman in Boston, black woman who loves her nephews, uh, black woman who loves her brother, uh, black woman who loves um, the men in her life. And it's been hard getting up and not worrying about them. It's been hard, you know, to hear people say, oh, if they don't do this, if they don't do that. You know, I know friends family members who've been stopped wearing the suit, you know, not responding, being respectful and have still been on the receiving end of very ugly situations. You know, spoke to a friend this week who, uh, you know, shared how when he has to do long drives and get stopped on the highway, what he has to go through in his head when those moments happen. Um, this is a crucial time in this country. You know, racism is alive and kicking. The disparities, the biases are deeply rooted in every space that we're in. In the schools, in the courts, going to a store, how you get followed, you know, how someone sees you at a restaurant and how sometimes, I mean, the, I don't go there unless someone takes me there. And you go to a restaurant and next minute you see that the waiter is like serving everybody and gone to everybody and you're still waiting and you see that they go to the person before you. People don't want you to acknowledge that and name that because they want to say, oh, but it's just you because you're always in that black state of mind. I have no choice but to be in that black state of mind right now. Uh, the black state of mind is the only mind that I know to be in um, because the black state of mind is under attack. And... We need to do what we need to do to protect those we love, um, to speak for those who cannot speak for themselves, um, and to, to, to constantly remind ourselves that Black is beautiful and we have every right to be on the receiving end of good things. Um, it was really important to have Paola on the show because as a Black woman from Latin America, one of the things about being in the U.S. is that this is no different than what's happening in Panama. Having Cafu and Common as the two songs, is it's almost like them speaking in about the same things, just one is saying it in Spanish and one is saying it in English. And you were saying the same things that Paola was saying, and she's in Bolivia and you're in Boston. And I think we need to continue to make that connection mm -hmm. that a Black experience is a Black experience no matter where we are sitting. So I hope that you continue to tune in to the Soulful Afro with you, that show, and hope to see you next week. Peace.